up guys, it's Long for Man Gains. I got Dr. Rob with me once again, and we're gonna talk about some of the benefits of the trap bar deadlift and why it's such a good place to start for so many people. I think one of the biggest benefits of the trap bar deadlift is that it is actually more in line with our center of gravity, our center of mass. Uh, having things too far forward or even behind our center of, uh, center of mass like uh, back squat or even comparison for front, front squat uh, make things more difficult, more challenging to the core. If you want to get a good workout with the legs and learn how to produce force with the legs, it's a great place to start because like I said, it is pretty much in line with our, our center of mass and learning how to keep that, which could be something that translates uh, or um, helps you progress forward into some of the more difficult lifts. Yeah, and I, I, think, I think that's a great point there is that uh, with the conventional deadlift, you're sort of loaded a lot more in the front. Sure. Body. And guys who are doing a back squat, especially like a low bar lap, uh, back squat, sure. really loaded behind you. So it's just more central with your, your body, right? Sure. And it's a great place to start because it can help you uh, build up some of that prerequisite uh, stiffness uh, that, that can make you successful in those other lifts. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, so let's, if you want to jump into the actual movement, we can break down. Uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. So, Standing, I, I think, right directly center in the in the trap bar, um, you know, uh, in, in a foot position that suits your body best. Um, shoulder width apart is a good place to try and start. I want you to, you know, hinge down into your squat. Okay. What you'll notice here is that Salam is allowed to bring his knees a little bit far forward because now we're about scratching the, the, the scratching his shins on the bar. Okay, and uh, it, it allows him to be. Uh, go just start from this force. Allows him to be a little bit more upright uh, in pulling because it's it's not so the weight's not so far forward. So it can, it's kind of like a hybrid between a squat and a deadlift for producing force. So come on up. Good. Again. Good stuff. Okay. So one big thing to note here is that uh, the knees can translate a little bit far forward. The torso can be a little more elevated here. Obviously, depending on who we're talking about, but uh, a little more forgiving than, than let's say, uh, having the weight behind us in the back squat or the weight far forward uh, uh, in, a, in a deadlift. So, who would you say the trap bar deadlift would benefit the most? I think um, I think what, what we previously mentioned. I think uh, uh, maybe novice lifters uh, or people who want to uh, safely progress in their deadlift. Secondly, uh, we, we we recognize that certain anatomical variances. And some guys with a really long torso with a really long femur uh, won't fit in the traditional lifts uh, like conventional. Um, they have the really long legs. The knees need to translate far forward. They have nowhere to go, uh, so they end up scraping the bar uh, across their shins. So. Uh, this is for someone who needs to adopt more of a squatty type uh, hinge uh, and to learn to pick stuff up off the ground, I think it's the best thing for them. You know, I might make a lot of people upset here, but uh, I don't believe that, uh, you know, it, that you're doing the deadlift correctly if you are scraping the skin off your, <laughs> the front of your shins, right? Mm -hmm. I hear a lot of guys say you're doing it right if you're, if, if you're doing that, but uh, uh, the truth is you should be able to keep um, a nice uh, uh, line of drive, whether you're doing it with a bar or, or with the trap bar, uh, with Without uh, dragging those too far forward, so if you are scraping your shins, we might need to look at your um, your stance width, or maybe even consider uh, sliding you into the trap bar. So there you go. Maybe look at an alternate deadlift. Um, if you're having a hard time deadlifting with your shins driving too far forward, mm -hmm. um, maybe looking at a wider stance, um, something more close to a sumo, or maybe get to the trap bar deadlift where the bar is sort of not getting in your 